Hi guys, Postman came back on the 18th of February. I've been leaving this alone. It's now the 8th of March, so 18th, 28th, 10, 11, 19 days we've left it before we're going to open it. I know what's in it. Mini camera. Should be two of them. So we'll see what happens when we open it. Well, we won't see what happens, will we? If it's full of bugs, I won't know until I end up in hospital. A pair of SQ12 waterproof mini digital video cameras. I bought them specifically because they had waterproof cases, apparently. We'll find out. Okay, so where's the waterproof case? So the picture that I bought them from clearly showed them in a waterproof case. And because it's now a long time past them arriving, I probably can't get me money back, can I? They're not going to be waterproof, are they? Well, that's annoying. I feel very annoyed. I wonder if they'll fit in my cases anyway. So I bought these, as I say, picture in the video, in the listing, showed them in a big plastic, clear plastic case. Be a bit of a tight fit in there. This is designed for me SQ11s. Yeah, it's a bit bigger, isn't it? So it's a bit bigger. It's got a big lens on the front, so I can't just push that out, which I can do with the SQ11. Well, I'm a little bit annoyed now. I've put off opening these plan was to have these in their nice waterproof cases on top of me duck but there's no waterproof cases I mean yes it says waterproof but as far as I'm concerned that just means looking at these that uh, can I push that out with that Oh gosh, that's not going to come out of there. Oh yes, it is just. Yeah, gonna have to, gonna have to print some new holders now because they're obviously a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. I say they might be waterproof inside, but your SD card's going to get wet, and that electronics in there. It's going to get wet. So how's that waterproof? Well, not impressed. So you saw it here, live on Grandad is an old man. No waterproof case. Oh well. I suppose before I storm off totally, I ought to just cover what else was in the box. We have got the stupid little clip, so you can wall mount it, and then the camera is supposed to clip onto there. 
one way or the other, that way. So that's the uh, the official mount that it comes with. And you clip that on there, and then you arrange that because these are sold as spy cameras, so you can spy on people or security cameras. I think they've got motion detection. Yeah, motion detection. 1280 by 720 it says there. So what does it say on there? 1920 by 1080. It may be the wrong instructions, but I think I'm reading 1920 by 1080 on the front there. I'm also reading waterproof. And on here it says 1280 by 720. So the only way we're going to find out is stick a card in it and run it, isn't it? Have to charge it first. Video tape, photograph, infrared on and off, motion detection recording, charging and recording at the same time, reset when it crashes, power off, time modification setting. It will create a text file, then you have to go and edit the text file. Yeah, well you can probably hear that I'm not very impressed. I mean, let's be honest, they were cheap. But I still like to get what I think I'm paying for, even if I'm getting it cheap and it's not going to last for long. I'll go and charge it and put a SD card in it. Right, I think we're in video mode. So, I've probably got my finger over the microphone. I have no idea. I'll just move my fingers a bit. Okay, so I'm making a cup of tea for me, a cup of coffee for my wife. They say. Just do the splash. That should be 
for a coffee. Ready? I'm going to leave my tea to brew a little bit. And we'll take her her coffee. Let's see if we can turn this off. Press this button. Right, this is the second camera, just to see if it's any different to the first one. Just looking at random stuff in the kitchen here. Just to give us a couple of seconds of video and audio to check. That'll do. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.